OK, so we're going to take a quick look at regression in Python using stats models and NumPy. So this is an example from the lab. And what we're going to do is we're going to conduct a before and after analysis of some data around um, the treatment of strokes. So the first thing we need to do is pull in the code and the functions that enable us to conduct a regression. So that's what this import statement is doing. It's pulling in statsmodels.api as sm, and that's where the OLS, the ordinary least squares regression function that we're going to use, is, is held. We're then reading from a, from a CSV file um, and creating a NumPy array that we've called Lysis. We've created a variable uh, of type int that we're assigning the intervention month to. So from week 42, um, something changed in this process. And that's what we're going to assess before and after. And then we need to set up the x variables in our regression equation. So we've read in our lysis data, which is our y variable. And now we're going to set up our x variables. So the first one we want to set up is a dummy variable that takes the value 0 when uh, it's before the intervention and 1 after the intervention. So the way I've done this is I've created a new NumPy array of the same length as Lysis and I've set all values within that to zeros of type int to start off with and I've called that dummy. I've then sliced that array from the intervention month inclusive through to the end of the array and set all of those values to one. And then we've got a bit of a quirk with stats models. And so by default, stats models does not add a constant term to your regression equation. So there isn't really much point conducting a regression without the constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one in and we're going to, uh, stats models provides a function to do that called add constant. So we're passing in the dummy array and out pops um, a matrix of x variables. Um, so that is useful for stats models because stats models by default works with the equation based regression model. And we'll take a look at what I mean by that in a moment when we run the code, we can take a look at what's inside the X matrix. Then we call the OLS function and pass in our Y variables and our X variables. And we get a model variable. And then on the model, we're calling the fit function. And that recreates a results object, which we then print to the screen. So let's run that code. So here's our nicely formatted regression output. And there's two things I'd like you to look at. Um, and these are the constant term and the x1 term, in particular the coefficients. So the coefficient for the constant can be interpreted as the average treatment rate before the intervention. And the coefficient for the x1 term can be interpreted as the average change from before to after. So the average change in treatment rate due to the intervention. Now we can check that to prove that that's what's happening using this code here. So we're going to calculate the mean before the intervention using some slicing. And we're going to calculate the mean after the intervention using some slicing as well. And then we're going to print those out to the screen. In fact, I'm going to print the mean difference. So let's run that and double check what our regression is doing. So here's our results. So the mean rate before was 0 0.0420, which matches up with what the regression uh, intercept term is. And our mean difference is 0 0.0868, which matches up with the coefficient of our x1 term in the model. And obviously, the nice thing about the regression is it gives us a confidence interval um, for our mean difference. Um, which we can interpret as a significant test. So 
let's have a bit of a closer look at what's happening with the NumPy arrays that we're putting into stats models OLS function. So if you remember, we created a, um, a dummy variable to start off with. Um, let's double click on that. So we can see that here. So we've got a NumPy array um, called dummy. Um, so if we scroll down, we'll see that it's zero until week, so month 42, where it switches to one and it remains one until the end of the array. And if we have a look at the X matrix, we can see that there's two columns in there. So what I can tell you is the first column is the intercept term and the second column is our dummy variable. And if we scroll down just to prove that, we can see from week 42, we switch over from zero to one in column one and that's exactly the same as our dummy array that we had before. Whereas in the um, intercept term, the constant term, that's always got the value one. And that's standard, that's a standard approach when you're using a matrix um, equation for your regression. So that's basic ordinary least squares regression using stats models. Um, it also contains different and more complicated types of regression, but the basic process for model building is the same.